But I'm not sure why. Okay, he's he's got to be getting his third expansion now, his third base now. Okay, yeah, he's setting up for that right now. But uh, things aren't looking very good for Stork at all. He hasn't teched up to Reavers at all. Usually Reavers are what uh, get him out of uh, trouble when he's in trouble. He's, he's very, very incredibly good shuttle Reaver micro, some of the best. Um, and again, at one point or another, possibly the best. Uh, but he's not getting those Reavers out, and I'm not sure why he's not doing that. Free has those Reavers to protect his expansion. Um, he didn't get the shuttle, but he was playing defensively to get the economy up, and then he can move out with a superior economy, uh, which is exactly what he's doing. It looks like Stork on the minimap may be setting up for a fourth base. No, maybe not. Um, he's, he's, he's got some sort of probe or something in the, in the nine, in the, sorry, in the three o'clock base. I wouldn't actually expect him to put a base there. I'd expect him to put it at the six o'clock. That'd be the, the more reasonable position, easier to defend. Um, unless he's putting a lot of pressure on free, but he's not able to put a, too much pressure on free at this point. So, uh, well, let's see a pylon going down there. It's interesting. Okay, free's now moving out. His economy is up and running. He's had his economy on his third base going for for a couple minutes now, and so this is the perfect time for him to move out. His gate wizard just kicking in here. Free, uh, sorry, Stork has a shuttle out. I don't know if there's reaver. They haven't. Uh, if they've checked his tech recently, I haven't seen it. And uh, free just dropping out uh, his reavers there. Oh, Stork can snipe those reavers. He's probably going to go for the shuttle first. He does go for the shuttle first. He snipes the shuttle. Stork does has one reaver of his own, and he's got the shuttle advantage, though, so he's going to be able to snipe a, those reavers. Stork taking a decisive advantage in that battle. That was absolutely huge. I have no idea why Free doesn't have more, more Dragoons right now. He should have more Dragoons. I think maybe he pushed out a little bit too early. Uh, I don't think he expected to encounter Stork in the middle of the field like that. I think he was maybe hoping for more Dragoons to rally forward before actually pushing in on Stork's base, but now Stork moving out with a superior force here, he has that Reaver, and that's going to be a big, big advantage for Stork. Uh, uh, Tree has abandoned the, the ridge, so he does not have, okay, he does have the ridge on the right, so he doesn't, oh no, Stork, you can't lose that! Oh, two Reavers dropping in, those two Reavers are going to be able to take out those Dragoons, and then he's going to be able to, I think he might have lost the shuttle though, so uh, think that's not going to be too good for Stork. Stork taking out another Dragoon, taking out some probes, fighting uh, probes against uh, Reavers is not a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. And this looks to be heading directly in, in Stork's advantage now, those Reavers are going to get taken out eventually, um, but uh, they're going to do a lot of damage first, and Stork just has more Dragoons on the ground at this point. And, uh, yeah, Free's Dragoon's just getting picked off. Now Free taking that ridge. Now Stork's gonna have to fall back. Uh, those Reavers are, oh man, both at very low hit points gonna get taken out. He does manage to get one last Scarab off on, uh, that Reaver. If, basically, if Stork had not lost his shuttle, he would have won the game just then. If he had lo not lost that shuttle, then the, the game would have been Stork. But he did lose the shuttle. Um, those four Dragoons up on, uh, at, at Free's Natural managed to pick off that shuttle. And those rivers were stuck up there, and so so free manages to live another day. But um, uh, Stork and uh, are still in a pretty good position, though. I think Stork definitely has taken the advantage back. And by the way, just going back to that battle, the crucial point where there was the fact that Free moved his shuttle out and had he tried to drop out those two rivers and pick some stuff off before the battle happened, and that was the risk that he took. But then he didn't pick up his rivers and fall back immediately. He just kind of chilled, and I don't know why he did that because. And that's what I'm talking about. Where I was, have been saying that Free just makes mistakes for some reason, and uh, that's that's one of the mistakes that he's going to need to uh, not make if he's going to be truly, truly top level. Even though he's been doing very, very well in Star Leagues, um, you know, and, and in Pro League, he, if he wants to be that top level, he needs to start cleaning up those little mistakes because otherwise, certain players are are going to tear him apart when he makes those mistakes. Um, but yeah. Uh, so Free lost his shuttle, and, and that's why he, he wasn't able to protect his Reavers anymore. And uh, Stork was able to pick off those Reavers. And once he had picked off those Reavers, his Reaver, the, the Scarab damage, doing splash damage on, on Free's Dragoons, which were grouped up, was able to um, uh, pretty much decimate Free's army. Um, Man, so this is turning out to be an exciting game after all. I thought that Free was just going to be uh, economically stomping all over Stork, but Stork managing to pull out a decisive battle and getting back in the game here. Looks like both players, uh, neither player wants to commit to an attack right now. They're both kind of posturing, trying to think of 
probably thinking about taking more bases. Um, okay, so by the way, that pylon uh, there on the right side of the map was probably just a, a site pylon to see if Free was going to run in with any uh, uh, for storm drops or something like that. Both of them are getting their archives, Templar archives up. So they are going to be thinking about incorporating uh, uh, High Templar into their armies pretty soon. Uh, looks like a battle might be brewing right here. Uh, Free, okay, <laughs> Sork falling back here. Uh, he saw that coming there. Uh, Free just slow crawling his, his Reavers in. He's going to need to protect them a little bit better though. His re Reavers are out in front. Scarab's going off on Free's Reavers. Free's going to lose both of his Reavers. He loses the Reaver before he's able to pick it up. Stork has a decisive advantage here. He's at his He has his Reaver behind the line so he's able to pick off at those uh, Zealots in the front without uh, uh, being in danger of his, his Reaver getting picked off by Dragoons. Stork microing his Reaver back. It looks like Free has superior forces though and more Zealots in the front. Uh, uh, Stork did not have the Zealots in front of his army to protect them. He does have that Reaver though. He still is microing that Reaver back and forth but now Free taking a decisive advantage here. A ton of Dragoons. He's chasing that shuttle. The shuttle is barely going to get away. Um, a lot of Zealots coming out. It doesn't look like Free's going to be able to finish off Stork right now just because he still has that shuttle and that Reaver. Um, and reinforcements coming out. But Free now taking a decisive advantage, and that means that Free has map control at this point. Free is going to be able to expand and get another base or two if he wants to. Um, Stork has put pylons at a, a bunch of bases all over the map, so he's going to be able to see if Free takes any of those. But uh, except for the uh, 12 o'clock position, Free could easily take that. Um, and I think that's probably what he should be doing right now is expanding now that he has a, this advantage. Because uh, he's going to be able to, he has the economy, he can easily expand and macro up forces at the same time. Um, so hopefully he's going to do that. But the, the thing is, his next battle, Templar are going to come into it greatly. And I, you know what? I thought I said that both players had Templar archives, but I guess I just kind of assumed that. I haven't actually seen Templar archives for Stork. I'm sorry if I miss it. Okay, never mind. I'm completely on track. <laughs> so, never mind. I take that back. Stork does have Templar. <laughs> Uh, I hadn't seen any Templar yet, and I was confused by that. That's why I was wondering about that. And Storm going on. Oh! Oh my god, if Stork, Stork loses one of his Templar to a Storm, he does have that shuttle to try and protect, but a Storm going off on over a lot of his Zealots, and I was just about to say that Storm is going to be a major, major deal in the next battle. Storm is going to determine the next battle, and the next battle is probably going to determine the game. Uh, Stork is not quite out yet. He, he is at a disadvantage, but he's not out yet. If he can get a ton of Storms off on Free's army there, then he might be able to come back in this. And Storm, uh, Stork going for a storm drop, it looks like he's setting up for it. He doesn't have speed, and that could be his undoing if he sends his shuttle all the way to the north and then doesn't have it around to protect his, uh, his troop, his Templar in his front line there. Um, yeah, he is going for a storm drop. And the uh, that position is going to be very easy for a storm drop. Uh, and oh, two zealots first. Oh, it's a reaver drop, not a storm drop. I'm sorry. The reaver go, uh, scarab goes off. He saves the reaver. Oh! Oh, the shuttle goes down with the Reaver in it, though! And that was absolutely huge! Stork is not going to be able to bring that Reaver back to his army. He is uh, not going to be able to defend. Uh, Free uh, pulled his probes off the line barely in time. I didn't think he pulled them off quickly enough, but he pulled them off barely in time, so his economy is still going. There's the storm going off over a lot of Free's troops. Stork really needs to kill off uh, Free's Templar, though. He does, and Free has not been giving up, getting off very many storms there. Uh, Stork has a superior uh, amount of Templar. He does have one Reaver, but the Reaver gets sniped. Another good storm going off on Free's troops. This is absolutely epic battle here going on. More storm going off over both sides' troops. Uh, neither side has Templar anymore, uh, but uh, uh, Stork is just too close. His gateways are right there. Reinforcements coming in, so he's barely going to be able to survive uh, this battle just because of the reinforcements. But Free is rallying all of his troops to Stork's front. Free is trying to push this advantage in and finish off Stork right now. He is trying to pick off all the remainder of his forces while Stork does not have any size storm left. Uh, it's going to take a minute before Stork can save up enough energy that he's going to have any size storm left. So. Um, Free's just gonna try and move in here. Looks like Free's trying to pinch her Stork's army. Stork is trying to chase down uh, the remainder of Free's army, but Free is falling back, and and it looks like uh, Stork's small army is gonna end up uh, getting uh, 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 stranded instead. And now his army is going to get picked off. 